There's a quick one that truly is an example of the saying, no good deed goes unpunished. And also backing up why so many guys are avoiding the gals in the workplace. They don't want to work with them. They sure as hell don't want to be alone in terms of a private meeting or a business trip or anything like that without witnesses around because of things like this. And you can't blame the guys. And yet you have so many stories and articles. Women complain that they're not getting the mentoring that they used to get or they're being uh, ignored by guys and blah, blah, blah. This story is a perfect example. But justice is served. Title. Am I the a-hill for ignoring the coworker that reported me to HR, which is leading to her likely being fired. Now listen to this. It says here, um, I'm not an English speaker, so here goes. Three weeks ago, a new person got hired at my job. Dude, just say it's a girl for goodness sake. Which was a bit odd given that the job is extremely specialized and requires a certain skill set and she has none of them, but, regard, but regardless, me and my company workers did our best to welcome her and after a few days, I more or less became uh, her mentor because she was hopelessly unprepared and unskilled for the job. Why on earth did they hire this gal that is unskilled, unprepared, completely not good enough for the job? Unless she knows somebody high up or simply they just want us a window dressing to say they got... More female workers, whatever. Says there, but she was a nice girl. As such, I had no problem going the extra mile to help her. She soon became friends with me and the people at work. So you thought. However, all that stopped at the start of week number two. I got a call to my boss's office and got told that an HR complaint was filed against me for S-word harassment. Remember that part when he said he's such, she's such a nice girl and we became friends and blah, blah, blah. He's like, what the hell? I was terrified and racking my brain at what I may have done, but I could not come up with anything because he didn't do anything. After asking my boss what it was about multiple times, he told me the new girl had filed a complaint and it was a bit unclear. Well, I ended up trying to think about what I may have done or said, but again, could not come up with anything, so I decided to ask her. Well, that is walking on thin ice because then it could be where, look, he's harassing me again. She told me, and this is... What she said, I was laying it on thick the other day. Confused, I asked her what she meant, and she said I was flirting with her. I told her I wasn't interested in her and was only being friendly. I didn't do anything weird or flirty, but she said that I had been flirting with her since she started working there. Again, I denied it, stating I had no clue what she was talking about, and explained the fact that I am in a relationship, not remotely attracted to her, and asked for specific examples. After this, she seemed offended by me saying I'm not remotely attracted to her. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you're not attracted to me? Again, slippery slope trying to go contact her. Yes, he's not into her. He was being friendly. And there, I guarantee you, there'll be gals watching this or hear stories like this and say, well, men think they're being friendly, but they may be flirting and they don't realize it and they're making me uncomfortable. So at the end of the day, it boils down to if someone feels uncomfortable, that they're feeling uncomfortable and make a complaint about that. I just walked off as she wasn't answering my questions and I asked some of my other coworkers, who are mostly female, if I did anything weird as during basically all interactions I had with a new girl. At least one of my coworkers was also there. They said they, they all said no, no different than usual and were weirded out by the fact that she went to HR. So this guy is obviously a popular, well-liked guy in his office and now they all know that this new girl is a problem. And he said he mentioned he asked female co-workers that, that are normal and he gets along with. And they said, no, you, you don't do these types of things. She's crazy. As a result, my only real idea is that she interpreted me being male and being friendly and talkative as flirting and decided to go straight to HR about it. So notice this is the new girl who's unskilled, unprepared, unqualified. You know, I think she was just looking for an easy payday. An easy, she got this job somehow knows she can't do it so she's looking for an excuse to probably get a quick payday it's unfortunate but again this is why guys don't mentor women and don't have meetings with them it's unfortunate and we know where it came from. we know back in the day you know i mean lots and lots of guys did some very very low life things to women in the past it's the fucking truth and it shouldn't have happened and as a result of that you got some angriest fuck ones out there that got everything riled up for m2 and now it's a free pass to accuse guys for anything. And the guys aren't, are, aren't very likely not, not, not going to be believed. You know the old joke, believe all. Know what I'm talking about here? 
And I don't want anything to happen to anybody. I mean, we all got sisters and mothers and female cousins and daughters. And you know what I'm talking about here. We don't want anything to happen to them. And so anybody that generally does something very, very inappropriate, yeah. But these are individuals that are just being friendly. And you get some pissed off gals that they realize, I got some power now. And I'm going to milk it for everything it's worth. And there are stories, lots of them, of this happening to guys. And they can risk losing their jobs, maybe even getting arrested having their whole careers destroyed over this. And it unfortunately, it happens. So you can't blame guys for saying no way. But anyhow, I had to say all that. It continues. Well, now we're in, now that week three is over and she's on thin ice, everyone has stopped helping her and she has no idea what to do half the time and has begged me to help her multiple times. But I've just ignored her and only answered with, I'm not comfortable helping you. She goes to HR, accuses this guy of, harassing her, flirting with her, all that. And now she can't do her job because nobody wants to help her because they realize what she's like. <clears throat> and now she's going to the same guy who could have lost his job or had his career destroyed, asking him for help. She's got some freaking nerve. Uh, last Friday, she came to me asking me again to please help her as she can't afford to lose her job as she's a single MOM and she really needs this job so nobody else will help her. Uh-uh. I've been down that road before. Uh-uh. And now, let me, now watch, he'll be the bad guy because he won't help her. But again, I, I declined and walked away. Now, the day after, I can't help but feel bad, though. But on the other hand, I don't want to put myself through that. Smack. The, what do you mean you, you kind of feel bad? No. You didn't do anything the first time. You could have lost your job and had your career destroyed. And, and you said you're feeling a little bit bad? Oh, hell no. She's getting what she deserves. <clears throat> so that was the end of that. And before I read some comments here, I got to tell you guys, this is exactly why... So many guys are walking away. This is why so many guys won't get involved, mentor, have meetings with. any And anybody watching this, any women watching this, you can't blame them. Can't blame them at all. And the problem is that a lot of, this is what happens when a lot of scumbag guys in the past did what they did. And obviously they were scumbags. This is what happens to the good guys because of them. But also, you got a lot, a lot of scumbag gals out there who darn well, that what they're doing is wrong, that they're making shit up, but they feel like they got to get some payback or easy payday. I don't know what, or power. So there's some comments real quick. One guy says, you're not the a-hole. You went out of your way to help her and she let her massive ego convince her that you were flirting. Joking around like with like, like friends isn't flirting. And then when she stopped receiving help, she was in touch, in trouble because this is not a job that she was qualified for in the first place. I get that she needs work, but if she has to constantly rely on other workers, that's her fault for applying for a job she should have stayed away from. Another guy says they're not the a-hole. If she can't do her job on her own, and she doesn't belong there. You said to specialize, and she doesn't know what she's doing. Otherwise, there should be someone uh, designated to help train her with a learned position. And if it was you, then she should have switched to someone else after her accusations. She dug her own grave. She can't lie in it. I think it's just hilarious. The same guy she was throwing under the bus... And you know what could have happened to him. Now she's looking for help. Nope. That's karma. Another one says, definitely not the a-hole. She burned her bridge with everyone else in the office in some way or another. She tried to get you fired or at least reprimanded. And now is asking you for help. You're right not to put yourself at risk again. If your job is not to train her, then you're under no obligation to do so. You're not going to maliciously get her fired. And you're not going to protect... You're going to do it protecting yourself after you've been burned by her in the past. If she cut off all her support in the office and is now struggling, that's her fault and not yours. Amen. So, guys, there you go. Be careful out there. This type of crap happens. And if you don't believe me, okay, go go do these things. Be the white knight. Be the hero and all that and watch what could potentially happen. I hope it doesn't, but this, this is why, like I said in the beginning, in the middle, in the end, why guys are responding to this as there's too much to lose based on crap like this that can happen. 